Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today here in Albuquerque as we uh, explore the CD that we didn't get to explore last episode. But last episode we got a sniper rifle. We also got an assault rifle, an AR-15. Is that the name? What, what's the name of that one? I don't, I don't remember. It's just assault rifle. Oh no, an AK-11, uh, or rather... 112. Okay, yeah, that's okay. I thought it was supposed to be an R15 or something like that, but it's not. Let's have a chat here with this tribal, see if they say anything. They do not. They say the tribe would be helpless without a shaman. Mm, assassins talk only through him. Why does outsider disturb Gurgan? Oh, are you the shaman? He might be the shaman, just called Gurgam here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is the rest of the town too small for him? Gurgan's tent is a good place, but it is meant only for him and his dogs. Outsiders should find his own. Um, yeah, that's not the reason I'm here. I just wanted to know who's in charge. Outsider is curious indeed. Gurgan leads the tribe. He is the chief. What does Outlander want from him? Um, I just want to ask you a few questions. Hmm, very well. Outsider may ask. Gurgan will answer. So how did you get here? That is not a pleasant tale. Gurgan's tribe suffered much misfortune. Hmm. Once Gurgan's home was far away from here, on ancestors' land. There was a river nearby and much game. The tribe was mighty then, ruling over other tribes, but then came a disaster. Burned people attacked and killed most of the tribe. Only a few escaped. Gurgan led them. He decided to find a safe place and after a long journey brought the tribe here. The tribe would have perished anywhere else. Hmm, so the ghouls attacked you, huh? Okay, so how do you make a living here? Making a living here is hard. The town people refuse to help, and there is almost no game in the surrounding wasteland. Only geckos are left. Thankfully, their skin fetches a good price uh, from the, trade, the traders. As long as Gurgan's hunters get enough of them, the tribe will survive. But that is now threatened. Many hunters did not come back from the hunt, and Gurgan does not know what uh, could have happened to them. If it goes on, the tribe will perish. Yeah, maybe I could help. I'd have to, I'd love to join the hunt. He studies you. Huh. Gurgan does not know outsider, but he shall trust him. He is in need of another hunter. Hopefully he will not come to regret this. Certainly not, so when's the next hunt? Gurgan's hunters can go right now, if outsider is ready. I think so. Let's go. Oh, geckos right off the bat. Okay, well, it's fine. I got a sniper rifle here. These guys are not going to enjoy. Oh, the wait a minute. These are, are these fire geckos? No, they're golden geckos. Okay. So I trust that ge little guy is going to be dead uh, by my friends over here. That guy's dead by my r sniper rifle. So that was 66 damage with a critical. Very nice. Okay, so mud is already, what the hell? Oh, mud might be a little bit too injured for this operation. He was whimpering at the beginning of the episode, so... I, I, I can see that happening. Let's see. Let's take him out again. Okay, didn't kill him, but he... No, didn't actually kill him at all. Not blind him or anything. And Gary is gonna try and shoot him. But I will probably be able to kill them without much problem. Uh, let's see. So, it depends on how, how, how high his health is. Oh, what the... Oh, that's a dog. That's a dog from a tribe. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, so, this guy is down to 1 HP. I will... Use a single shot there. Kill him. Uh, because these guys were probably going to kill. Eh, then again, the yeah, the initiative here is looking good. Okay, so that guy has decided to attack Carrie instead. That's a good strategy. Uh, that dog might die. That guy hopefully won't. And, I mean, I, I wish them no ill. So, let's see. We got this guy coming in for carry. Let's see if I can kill him. Not really. He is not... Oh, that was... He's a tough golden gecko. Okay, so... Oh, crap! That was 58 points of damage with a... She has a desert. No, she doesn't. No, she. Oh, was that a burst? That might have been a burst. Uh, yeah, she has the SMG. Okay, so we got these guys being attacked. We should be fine. That small gecko, though. I don't want to kill him. I want to kill the big ones. Uh, so that guy's got a 45. That guy's got 18. So dead he is. Let's go that heist. Oh, he's not dead. Damn it. Okay, hopefully carry. Kelly. Oh, that was a burst. That's a gecko cannot win. Says that guy. Uh, that's that was a little bit dangerous using. Bur was that a burst? I didn't hear it, though, so it, it might have been. Uh, so that guy is down to 40. That was not a kill. That was 19 points of damage. That's still pretty good. And please don't kill him, because I want to kill him myself. I don't have trapping or anything. I don't have skinning. Skin getting. Gecko skinning. I think it's gecko skinning the perk. 
in Fallout 2 that gives you the ability to get these guys. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll shoot him once and then fall back and... Okay. Yeah, I think she was bursting and she does, just doesn't have a sound for bursts for some reason. Or it didn't trigger or I didn't listen. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So this guy, let's go ahead and just shoot him in the eyes and he's down. Okay. Now, reload. And we're good for combat? Yeah. Okay, so th there's another one over there. Oh, there's also death. Um, oh, there's more. There is more. There's also... Oh, you're... <laughs> You shouldn't do that. That's dangerous. Shouldn't kick these guys. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't shoot you either. That was nasty of me. I apologize. Didn't mean to. Although, things might not go too well for you. That was a hit. That was 12 points of damage. That was one shot for four. Eh. I'm more concerned about the lost bullet <laughs> rather than hitting that guy, to be honest. Okay, so this guy's coming my way, which is perfect. Woof woof says mutt, and that guy says... <laughs> And that's exactly how I like to what I like to hear. So, what are you going? Okay, so he's not angry. Is he not angry with me? That's okay. That's perfectly fine. Mud is coming in. I'm gonna see if I have line of sight. Eh, it's kind of dangerous. Let's get a little bit closer. Take a shot, maybe to the head. Oh, eighty-seven points of damage. Hunters say sorry for uh, to geckos, but they need their skins to live. Yeah, let's see if I can get their skins. I can't. Okay, that's that was expected. That's totally fine. Let's look at our ammo situation. I did spend a bunch of these. Oh, that I'm never gonna need more ammo. I will take that though. No, what that that guy doesn't have anything. So that is that. I think. Yeah, that was a good hunting session. I liked it. I got how many? How much experience did I get? Two hundred and ten for crushing the enemies the second time around. And 135? No. Really? No, 870. Okay, that's good. And uh, that means that we're still far away from our next level up. Let's have a chat with these guys. Outside of Fraught Bravely. Yes, I did. I killed you. I shot you guys as well, but I, I killed most of the uh, geckos. Uh, and ooh, we're kind of far away. I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Oh, yeah, we also didn't see the, the, uh, the, the way here, which is kind of sad, but... There we go. Let's have a chat here with the leader. Uh, we also level, uh, healed up a little bit. Hunters told Gurgen that Outsider has done well. Here is this share, and he gives us two golden gecko skins. Nice. And if you Outsiders uh, want, Gurgen can also teach him two skin geckos now. Oh, thank you. That should be handy. That was good. That was good. It is not too hard. You simply have to, and he shows me how to peel off a gecko skin without damaging it. Outsider should do fine with a bit of practice, but he must remember to let Hunter skin geckos when he goes hunt hunting with them. The spoils must be shared fairly. Okay, so can we go on another hunt? Outsider can come back in a day. That is when another hunt begins. Okay, well, I... There's not as big of a reason to go hunting uh, if you guys won't let me take the, the pelts, but yeah... If you, you guys should give me the the share, though. I mean, you guys should share. I, if I want to help, then it's, it should be all about the experience, you know? It should be also a little bit... Give me a couple of pelts. Even though I killed most of the geckos, just give me a couple of pelts. You guys know where the hunting grounds are and all that sort of stuff? I do not. And so, because apparently they, they take me blindfolded there. I wonder what there is in these, in these graves. Huh. I don't know. We got a shaman over here. This is the shaman. I should, what should be, anyway. Let's just have a chat with these guys, see if that's something. That is something. See if this guy minds. He doesn't because there's nothing there. He knows. He knows. There's probably gonna, not going to be anything back here either. Uh, oh, there is, actually. Oh, so these guys probably are the guys that can uh, make killing powder for me. Uh, no. The old man pays you no attention. He's staring into space, occasionally mumbling some incoherent words. He does not seem to be in his, uh, to be in his senses. Um, who are you? He stops muttering and looks at you with surprise. Outsider comes to Shaman Rua. Ah, he has disturbed him from seeing spirits of ancestors. What does he want? Uh, you can you can talk to the dead. What do they say? He scowls. Talking to ancestors is no simple thing. Rua must come close to their home, their bones, mix the right herbs, and focus his mind to create a bond. It is difficult, but the tribe needs ancestors as guidance. Without it, the tribe would forget their traditions, and even Rua could no longer help. Traditions? Tell me about them. Rua's tribe has many old and wise traditions, but outsider would not understand most. It is un enough to know that they tell us to be cautious, so every member of tribe is cautious of outsiders. 
They also pro forbid relationships with city folk, so outsiders should stay away from men and women of tribe. Hmm, okay, no need to worry. What did you say about the ancestors helping you? Ancestors give Rua the power to do things that help the tribe. He can heal wounds and look into people's soul souls. He stops talking and looks you in the eyes. If outsider gives Rua his end, he can look into his soul as well. Well, aren't you gonna look at my hand? All right, then. The shaman stares at your hand for a while, muttering some words that make no sense together. Suddenly, he pulls out a knife from somewhere and cuts your wrist. Holy crap. Uh, let's see. I have a... I saved before. I should be fine. Blood starts seeping from your wound. Rua quickly puts a wooden bowl under it and waits until it's filled. He watches the light reflecting on the surface for a while and then drinks from it. Finally, he turns to you. Runa, Rua has seen that Outsider is an, an indecisive man and who cannot choose a path to walk on. Oh, uh, well, yeah, it kind of reflects me a little bit. I, I've done bad things, but I've also done good things. But then again, kind of what is good and what is bad, so that kind of... A, uh, yeah, I guess, maybe. Ancestors hope that one day he is able to change that. Okay, did you take... Did I take damage? I think I did. Wasn't I at 37? Uh, just dropping by. See you later, Rua. Uh, yeah. So, let's continue looking around. We got, uh, well, a carry. We got a carry there. We got tribals back here that don't really say anything. And we got another tribal over there. And a dog. Woof, woof, says the dog. Hello, little boy. Okay, so we got a tribal, another tribal. There probably isn't gonna be anything else. Ooh, we got a, a pretty tribal. That's a, a weird way to refer. Shouldn't it be a pretty girl or a pretty woman? The girl's face is stained with tears, and she is still sobbing quietly. She turns her gaze away as soon as she sees you. It seems she doesn't want to be to. to uh, she doesn't want to talk to anyone. Can I insist? No, I can't. Well, I I don't respect her wishes. I want to talk to her. I will talk to her, because I'm a jackass like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Oro is a jackass. I'm I'm not as much. <laughs> <laughs> let's go around and let's see because these guys are just the tribals here that are plenty of different peoples in the, the different peoples as in you know oh was I sneak what happened there what was that was I sneaking did I press one I thought I saw some oh there must have been yeah it was it was just somebody's uh, uh, talking somebody's uh, floating text Join the hunters if you think you got the guts. This is just a guy. Oh, he's a hunter. Yeah, these guys are not very welcoming of the... Of the uh, oh, we can go up here. That's pretty cool. Uh, can I rest here? I should. Give me... Damn it. That's really bad. That's really bad. Especially because you can circumvent him so easily. He's just... Ease of life. Ease of living right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, in this game, basically, resting doesn't actually help you heal. It It's just the passage, passage of time that helps you heal. So... It, it doesn't make any sense that we can rest here. It's not the Elder Scrolls. Give me give me my things. Give me my spendage of time. Okay, that's good. It's good. Okay, let's continue exploring. Because I was getting tired of not being able to see anything. That's why I wanted to do that. So, we got a guy with what looks like a flamer. Could be a heavy weapon. I'm not really sure. Could be a bowser. Hey, what? What is it? Why are you bothering me? I've, I've done nothing wrong. Yeah, really. I Ben is his name. Uh, wh why are you so agitated then? Ah, it's, it's, that's none of your business. He looks nervously towards the tribal camp. Go away! Um. Um. Yeah, maybe I will. The tribals would no doubt like to know that someone has been snooping around their camp. No, no, it's not like that. Wait, wait, please. I I just want to give one one of them something. Nothing more. Who exactly? It, it, it's for my Aaliyah, my girlfriend. Well, ex-girlfriend. I left her because I... I got scared. If my people found out I'm seeing a tribal, they, they exile me. <sighs> but I don't care about them anymore. I only care about Aaliyah now. I, I brought this earring from Alvarez. He shows it to you. I want to give it to her as an apology. I see. So why are you still here then? I can't go to her. The tribal guards, the, the tribals guard their camp and won't let me in. Our community isn't on the best terms with them. I, I don't know what to do. Hmm. Well, I could help if you want. I, I'd go and talk to Aaliyah for you. You'd really do that? Here, take the earring to her. Tell her I'm I'm uh, that. Tell her it's from Ben. You should find Aaliyah in one of the tents. You have to tell her that I'm sorry that I I was a fool and want to fix everything. That I want to leave Albuquerque with, with her. Go somewhere far away where we can be together. If she agrees, tell her to go to our secret spot. I'll meet her there. Okay, we'll see what she has to say. I'll be back with her answer. Okay, Aaliyah, where is she? Oh, that's a pretty woman. Oh, that's right, she was crying. Oh, man. The a lady's golden earring. It's 
Still very pretty, even though there is only one. Is it very pretty? I will, It looks like... What the hell? Is that gold? Shouldn't that be a pearl or something? Uh, I, mm, oh, this is not... Sorry. No, you're very pretty, but you're not a woman or, or you know... Yeah, it's not, you're not the one I'm looking for. Uh, the girl's face is stained with tears and she's still crying. You must be Aaliyah. She stops crying and looks at you. Outsider knows Aaliyah's name? What does he want from her? Um... Well, I... The fact that he's willing to, I mean... He's willing... First first off, he's willing to accept his his mistake. Secondly, he's willing to give up on his life, friends, I guess, family. To, to go to be with the one he loves, or claims he loves anyway. So I think he deserves a chance. And if she loves... She clearly loves him, or likes him anyway, because she's crying. Otherwise, she wouldn't be... Uh, but... So there's definitely something there as well. So let's not change anything here. Uh, let's just help the guy and the girl, I guess. Yeah, Ben's, Ben sent me. He's sorry for what he's done, and he begs your forgiveness. I'm supposed to give you this. Uh, Aaliyah will forgive. But what has happened? Before he, he, he said he had no choice, that people from the city would never accept our love. Yeah, he doesn't care about them anymore. He wishes to leave Albuquerque with you, if you agree. Leave? But Aaliyah will gladly go. She, she, she must, she, she must, much wishes to be with Ben. Where can she find him? You should wait for him in your secret spot. Ben will meet you there. And th and, and with that, Aaliyah thanks Outsider. She will go now. Now? Oh, she will! Damn it, that girl runs fast. Oh, boy. I could follow her. I doubt it, but I, I'm gonna try. Oh, man. Uh, she's probably gonna be long gone, or maybe not. I'm gonna try and follow her, though. See if that changes anything. See, she, if need, she needs protection or something. Is she here? Oh man, I got a hospital. Oh boy, this place is huge. I like it. Um, yeah, Ali is nowhere to be seen. At least not here, so... Yeah. Ali is not here. So let's talk to Ben and just tell him the good news, I guess. Hopefully they won't need my help or anybody's. Hey, well, did you, did you talk to Ali yet? Yep, yeah, she has decided to give you another chance, so don't mess it up. Hi. You can't even imagine how grateful I am. For the rest of my life, I will be in your debt. Now, now I must go. I can't keep Aaliyah waiting. Farewell. May you stay together this time. Thank you again, he says. And he's gonna start... Ru no. It's Man, he's not as interested in her and she is as she is in him. Oh, no. He <laughs> With his arms flailing, he just starts to run all of a sudden. He's like, mm, I'm gonna go very, very normally. And then he figured out that his animation was actually very slowly. So, ah, screw this. I'm just gonna run. Oh, no, this is even worse. I'm flailing my arms about. Yeah, yeah but anyway, that's... That's all good, we did something good, and we also gained some experience. I think our karma is probably gonna go up with those stuff. Let's see, New Hope is liked, Red Hole is liked, Set it is accepted, which is pretty cool. Albuquerque is no tr neutral, and Imperial C. I didn't know we had it. Have we heard about them? No, we haven't. I read about, I read about that name online <clears throat> as I was looking for some stuff. I don't remember what I was looking for. Uh, I, I was looking for something. I said it on camera as well about what this, I was looking for. Um, but, uh, so these are gang members. But, uh, yeah, I read about the Imperial Seed. I didn't read about the Imperial Seed, I read the name. So, we still haven't been there, we don't know where it is, I don't think. So, that's, uh, gang members, huh? Yo! He points his knife in your direction. He who, Vex. Okay. I don't know who, I don't know you. What are you doing here? And who the hell are you anyways? Who's asking? Vex, you're surrounded by my people. Not to mention you're on my turf. So, spit it out, who the fuck are you? Your turf? The suburbs and everywhere that lives here. Everyone that lives here belong to me. No one is tough enough to take it from me. What about the hunters? They might have something to say about that. Hunters? Ah, they have their hands full with protecting all humans. I'm not afraid of them. I was here before them. I've lived on the streets of this city since I was a brat. Well, you're still a brat, but anyway. And I had to take care of myself even back then. We could forget our... Who could defend our... We could defend ourselves against the ghouls without them. And if anyone wasn't in, uh, wasn't... If anyone wasn't strong enough to fight for his life, well, his loss. Hmm, someone like you might have some decent work for me then. I just walk in here and ask for a job, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll give you one and we'll see if you're good for it. Alright, what's the job? One of my immigrants, William... Uh, failed to understand his place in my quarter. His people keep trying to protect the bastards that refuse to pay me. I don't like complications, so I want you to remind William that he should mind his own business. And how should I do that? William owns two women. I... Oh, really? I want you to kill one of them. I... Oh, man, that's even worse. <laughs> Crap! 
Are you kidding me? Like, I was, for a moment there, I was like, okay, so I'll kill this guy. No, I'm... That's... I will... I will kill you all. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm kill. I'm gonna kill you all, except for the women, maybe. Uh, unless they're scumbag as well. I don't know. Well, we'll see. I don't care which, but just kill one and leave William alive. I want him. I wanted to hurt him. I want him to suffer and realize he shouldn't have messed with me. I want him to know I can take anything I want from him, and not just one whore. So where does William live? Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm not interested in a job like that. Let's not. Oh, he wants to kill me. Oh, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's kill these guys then. Uh, let's see. So, burst should work. Uh, the problem is we have Mutt and Carry somewhere far, far away. I don't even know where they are. Oh, they are here. Okay. Mutt? Mutt? Is that Mutt? That's Mutt. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of injured. It's not going to go well for him. He might die. Uh, let's give it a shot or a burst. Uh, so, this guy is the self-proclaimed ruler of the suburbs. And he goes down with a 56 damage to the face. That's pretty good. Let's fall back this way. Because, of course, we're going to have them all on our back. Oh, is that a pop? No, that's not a power fist. That's pretty good. That's what you get. Hopefully... Oh, they're attacking me. Yeah, Mutt is coming in here. That's good. Oh, you don't. You don't. I need to kill this guy, though. Oh, damn it. Didn't do that much damage. 19 points of damage. That's pretty bad. I think there wasn't Mutt dying. Gang member was hit for a lot of damage, and it was Gary just attacking the guy. That's good. We might win this thing. We might win this. No, damn it! Oh crap! Mud is going for that guy. Damn it! Mud knows to run away though. Oh no! I got killed. Okay. Well, I learned my lesson. Uh. Can't really do this for now. So, it's another situation as we found before. Basically, if you... Ma that's totally realistic, but if you mess with them, you're, you're gonna have to uh, handle the situation uh, yourself. So, I think... The problem is... I don't know what to do here, actually. I Let me save the game again. Just make, yeah, let's, let's not explore this. Let's just... Uh, I mean, killing these guys is probably gonna be the, the way to go. Oh, that's Willem. Oh no, that's a guy called that's talking about Willem. Willem is a good man. He helps everyone here. No, really? He owns the women. What? Ex oh, maybe he, w maybe he doesn't. Maybe that was just slander or loss in translation or something. Uh, maybe he doesn't own them. It just they is their boss since they're whores. I guess. I mean, he talked to them as talked about them as as if they were whores. So let's have a chat with this guy. Welcome to Alvarez's Wanderer. Uh, that's me. And I tra are you the Wanderer or the Alvarez dude? Uh, and I trade with everything and everyone, strangers, locals, caravans, anything your eyes see here is for sale. Wait a minute. Uh, I went outside. The caravan is gone. Dang it! Forgot about that part of the deal. Ah, well. It's fine. It's fine. We don't need the money. I would like the experience, but we don't need the money. It's all good. Uh, I guess we were staying in Albuquerque for a long while. Yeah, that was... Yeah, we moved be... Damn it. Well... Yep, yep, yep. The caravan is gone. The caravan is gone. But anyway, uh, so I'll ask, ask some questions about the city. I'm not opposed to trading anything, even information. For 300 caps, I'll tell you everything I know about the city. Whenever you stop by, many people come to me, and I overhear much. Trust me, it will be worth it. Can you... Okay, let's hear you go. Gracias. He takes the caps. Uh, well then, what do you want to know? So, who rules town? Now, uh, you could say that Albuquerque belongs to the Empire, but the mutant hunters are really in charge here. Okay, tell me about the Empire. Well, in case you didn't already know, there is a vault numbered 16 below the city. Descendants of those who live there founded the Empire. They don't care about us, though. They're holed up in their proud city, as they pompously call it. And why should they care when they have everything? Mmm, yeah, well, t uh, tell me about the hunters. Uh, the- oh, the wait a minute, so the Empire is the vault? Uh, in case you- oh, yeah, the Empire is the vault. Oh, that's right, of course it is. Oh, damn it, I forgot about that. I forgot, yeah, they call it the, they call it the Empire, that's right. I asked before, I didn't know about the Empire, but wait a minute, that's the Empire City? So it's a different city from this? Oh, man, I'm curious, I'm curious. So, about the Hunters, they hate mutants, want to exterminate them all according to their dubious agreement with the Empire. They're supposed to protect Albuquerque from mutants. He leans in close to you and starts whispering. You'd best keep your distance and avoid provoking them. When a hunter doesn't like you, they'll kill you and nobody will care one bit if you really were a mutant or not. 
Mm, well, we're all mutants, but you guys don't know that. So, tell me about this quarter. Ah, the wasteland is full of rampaging ghouls destroying everything they find, so people here in the suburbs are mostly survivors of their attacks. We're all from different cities, but we stick together because we have to share this place with an assortment collection. An assorted collection of all the scum that the wastes have to offer. Anything from tribals to various thieves and murderers. Hmm, tell me about the people of the city. It's terrible. The ghouls are destroying even the large cities now. Albuquerque is the last city in this area that's still standing, and to the hunters' credit, it's mostly thanks to them. We're all from different cities, but we stick together mostly thanks to Willem. Hey, tell me about Willem. Willem lives not far from here. The two stories the two story house is his. His people protect us, or try to, in order to protect his investments. See, he has an agreement with the caravan companies from Sedit. Thanks to that, they come here loaded with trade goods, and the people here can at least get a job loading and unloading the caravans. Willem is fairly rich, so he can afford much. Hmm, that's good. M maybe. I need to meet this guy, though. Um, so, that's the people, that's Willem. Tell me about the tribals. <laughs> a bunch of idiots with spears. Sometimes I buy skins of the animals for, uh, they hunt from them, but uh, that's about the only thing they're good for. What about the thieves and such? A guy named Vex founded a gang here and former uh, from former raiders and the like. They're all the locals or collect protection money from them. Even William ha well, hasn't been able to disperse them yet, so you can see how dangerous they are. Actually, they are pretty dangerous, but only if you attack them from the inside. If we attack them from far away, it's gonna be fine. Don't worry. We're gonna be able to kill them with ease. I mean, we were doing fairly well. I mean, it's just that I am very low on health. We need, and we need power armor. We need some sort of better armor than leather armor normal, n normally. So, yeah, I guess we'll see. So, where can I find Vex? Uh, Vex and his buddies took over the large ruin in the northern uh, suburbs. Decent folks steer clear of that place. Vex is quite capable of killing you just for looking at him funny. That's uh, what they say, at least, and it's best not to pry further. Well, did I kill him? I think I didn't manage to kill him at all. Man, but that was, wasn't going too bad. I mean, I got a critical with the burst, but... Uh, so let's see... Uh, tell me another question. What places are worth visiting here? Uh, as you know, nobody should miss visiting my shop. I really do trade with everything. If you want some entertainment, try the old the wild paradise in the hunters' territory. Or if you need medical treatment, you should pay a visit to the hospital in the dead quarter. But don't bother going into either of those without a nice sum of caps. Well, if you hadn't stolen thir 300 from me, I would have a little bit of a nice one. Now I'm d below 2,000. Um, any work to be had here? No, you're in luck. William has mentioned that I should spend, send anyone that asks for a job to him. No idea what the job involves, though. No any other work? Ah, uh, you might try your luck in the hospital. You'll find it in the dead quarter. I doubt they'd take you as a doctor, but the mercenaries that work for the hospital might still be looking for a few people. Oh, uh, that's good. That's really good. So, I would like to trade with you. Let's trade. Okay, so I have some... Go oh, speaking of trading... Oh, it is good. It is said that you've been visiting the local tribals. I'm not judging you. That's your business. What I'm interested in are gecko skins. The tribals hunt geckos, and nobody can get the skin off, off like they can. I'd give you a good price for skins of such quality, say... 100 for silver and 200 for golden geckos. And I don't care where you... or Where nor how you get them. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I have some get gecko skins for sale. Golden. Excellent, and he pays me 400. I'd be interested in buying more if you manage to get them. Yeah, I, I, I want to get them. So those are actually pretty good. If he had them here, I would exploit that because you can buy them uh, for a cheaper price. But those are, are pretty good that uh, we can sell them here. Um, Golden Gecko skins are nice. They can be sold, I think, for 150. So he's paying a little bit above price. That's good. So we got this. I'm gonna keep that one. I'm not gonna keep this one or this one or this one. But then again, he doesn't. He probably doesn't have. What I need. Oh, crap. He's got one of these. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, I also want to. I, oh, I have so many good things. So many good things. So I spent money on that one for no reason. I would like to buy some steam packs, I guess. Probably he's going to help us. Uh, some right away. That's very expensive, isn't it? Yeah, it's very expensive. Uh, let's see. So what else do I need? I would like. Oh, what? Nah. Everything is kind of good. I would like some ammo for this one, though. Yeah, JHP, that's JHP as well. Let's bring 100 and see if that helps us. Uh, so on this side of things, we need to remove one of these things. That's going to be that one. And, oh boy, these things are expensive. Uh, let's see. So which one is... L oh, that's that's fine. That's fine. I can, uh, can give you this one that I don't need for sure. And this one, how expensive? Oh, that's... Oh, my God. That's so expensive. <laughs> 
That's really, really expensive. Jesus. Um, that's good, actually. That's really good. We're not gonna use that one. Uh, yeah, I think... No. It's like... Okay, well, in that case, what else can I buy from you? I could buy some trauma... Is that Psycho? That's Psycho. Is that good? No, that's not good. It's too expensive as well. Um, so let's sell... Yeah, I... I let's take one of these. Let's take one of these and just be done. We're also running out of time for for the day, so I guess... I guess it's a good time to break off the episode here. Let me just uh, get this thing going. Uh, 767, that's good. 3, and there we go. Okay, so we're, we're kind of loaded, but kind of also... We'll see how things go, but for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.